Why, hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I'm going to show you guys some uh, some dual freeze pulse crit, well crit freeze pulse dual totem uh, gameplay. And uh, if you guys want to see the build and whatnot, I'm going to showcase all that after. So I'm going to run a quick map for you guys, just showing you guys this is in the uh, this is in the beta right now that I'm in. It's hardcore, not that it really matters. And um, I'll just show you guys my weapons, and then I'll jump right into it. They're pretty good, um, pretty pretty good. I mean. This one's pretty nuts, but uh, nothing that anyone really couldn't get. You could get like a mediocre one and still be fine. So I don't have too high of a map, sadly. I'm 76. This is a 69 map. And let's just show you guys how it plays out. I really like it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, my tooltip is 15.6. I'm not really running too many power charges yet as of right now. Uh, because I don't have the... Uh, I don't have the proper... Uh, so what I'm looking for. I don't have duration nodes yet. Uh, so once I pick up the duration nodes, since you have to now to get the power charges for the most parts, um, it'll be a lot, it'll be a lot more fun. I'll have like a 14 second power charge with seven power charges would be pretty neat. So our crit chance, let's see, can I take this off? No. Crit chance with two charges, let's see if I can get some maximum charges here. Let it fall off. It should be like 26. Where's the crit chance? Crit chance is actually 31%. Oh, that's Ice Spear. Wrong skill. 26.9% on freeze pulse without any charges. It's pretty good. It's pretty safe. Um, life is a bit low right now. I'm 3600, but I've got about I don't know. On if I had proper gear, I'd, I'd be sitting right around 4k. And with nodes on the tree, I should be able to get to 4.5k. Maybe 5k HP. I'm not 100% sure. I get about, I think, 157% life from the tree. Oh, rip. I can't throw this guy in anything. I'll just kill him here. Um, but yeah, I'm capped resists, of course. I don't really have any defensive uh, mechanism aside from just effective life. Although, although... I can hit about 6k effective life um, using energy shield. Since the change, the recent change to energy shield nodes, or not nodes, the, the way energy shield works, uh, it actually regens a lot, uh, regenerates a lot quicker now, well, not regenerates, the, the delay time between it off, like turning on and off and activating has been adjusted. And since I'm playing a totem spec, it's actually really not that bad for me to just have some ES since I could, I could squeeze in discipline for four more points on my passive tree. Uh, the top end on my freeze pulse for people who want to check, you can see it right here. I deal an okay amount of lightning damage, it's really not that much, I'm thinking of just dropping Herald of Thunder, I don't really know yet. I shock like white and blues, I don't really shock rares by any, and even some I don't shock. Uh, it really depends, because since the cold damage roll is so high, and the uh, lightning damage roll is so low, the further out the projectile is on freeze pulse, the less damage it deals, but it still deals enough damage to freeze, but it doesn't deal enough damage to even shock like white mobs, for example. So I might just drop Herald of Thunder overall, maybe when I get into high-end mapping. I'm not sure. I might transition into dual curse running like Assassin's Mark Ellie Weakness, and that might help me augment my shocking a bit more. Uh, and then, of course, the more crit you get, the more crit multiplier you get, the higher overall your damage will become. So we'll see how that goes. But I don't see myself shocking high-end bosses like Mervell and Dominus. That I, I don't see that ever happening with this character. Unless... Uh, which I'll talk about later, I do have the option of running low life on this character, which is pretty neat, because it's not really going to hurt my build at all, since it is a totem build, and low life is a really easy, uh, not, well, I won't say an easy switch, but it is totally an option to get. It's probably the option I would build towards, because as being a totem spec, you want to get as much damage as you can, uh, since you don't have to worry about reflect, you don't have to worry about corrupted blood, you know, you, you really bypass a lot of the mechanics of the game by doing a totem character and that's you know in my opinion as totems are are really defensive at the same time their their greatest offense or their greatest defense is that they are your offense you know you don't have to you don't have to worry about it. especially playing a, a freeze character you pretty much just summon the totem in front of you and everything gets frozen like here's a boss and he's frozen and he's dead so it's like it's yeah it's it's cool it's pretty nice Uh, for people who want, I can post the build link 
in the description below. Although if you're gonna copy it, make sure that you copy the build link into the beta planner, which I will also link, link in there. It's a data mine tree. Uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not the guy who made it by any means. Uh, you can see it on there on the, on the file. So if the uh, file um, blows your computer up, that's not my problem. Although by no means would it. Let's see. And this last section. It's pretty cool. I like it. I think the spec has, is, is really fun. And it's actually good. Synergizes really well. With freeze pulse. Oh, I think I have cap lock on that. There we go. It's in here hitting slash remaining and nothing's working. I'm like, what? Spider Forest? Oh, it would be awesome to show that map. Thank you for dropping now. Okay, just two more spots to go. Actually, one more just right through here, which I have to exit out so this way to do it. Rip. Okay, so it's it's back there. I lied. Actually, that's zero mini. Cool, full clear. Awesome. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go into my gear now really, really fast. I'm gonna go into my gear and then I'm gonna talk about the spec I'm running and things that can be added, things can be that can be changed. Might be a little bit of a repeat as the last video, but this one shows you know higher higher level gameplay and whatnot. So let's get into it. Here is the gear that I'm currently using. All right. So, um, the gear I'm currently using, I've got Wand A, which is spell damage, spell damage, spell damage. It's like, what's, uh, I don't know, 60% spell damage or something like that? 2, 3, 4, 50, some, something like that. So it's spell damage, but mainly I'm using this for the 17% cast speed, since when you're using a totem, uh, spells cast by totems have 30% less attack speed, or casting speed. It's very important to get your casting speed regulated again. Next one is a pretty good one, 90% 90, 90 plus spell damage, okay cast speed, very good crit roll, so that's why I'm dueling wands right now. I've got another one I'm going to drop out that trades essentially 17% cast speed for a bunch of crit multi. I don't know if I'm going to do it, maybe, I'm not really sure. The damage will be nice for freezing bosses later on, but I don't know if I can give up 17% casting speed right now. 5 link I'm using is spell totem, cold pen, freeze pulse, hypothermia, and faster casting. I need to get a quality faster casting. Quality Freezing Pulse is really, really required in this build. Um, if I had to say, like, the two required items that are necessary to make this build work, I guess it would be three things. A, a 5 link. B, Freezing Pulse quality. And C, the uh, Reign of Splinters Jewel. So those are two things that are, like, super, 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 super important. Shut up, Diablo 2. All right. So uh, next, let's go into a couple other features on this character. Uh, my gear is pretty basic, you know, my rings, they're just nothing really, it's just all res and a little bit of life. My second ring, again, is all res, or sorry, it's just life, mana, a little bit of res. Uh, amulet, I actually really good, I, I rolled, I don't know, 20 amulets, so I finally got one that's good. This has a little bit of spell damage, actually decent amount of spell damage, a little bit of cast speed, all res, res, and life, it's pretty neat. Ideally, I would like crit multiplier on there, and to possibly drop the spell damage and get a higher cast speed. And rings, I would like to get cast speed on. Other than that, it's just basic gear. You know, I don't have too much life on my gear. I've got 50 life here, 35 life here, 60 life there, 30 life there. So, I mean, my life could definitely go up still from gear. That's definitely a potential or an option. So, let's talk about where I am on my spec right now. Uh, I, just started, I decided to start Shadow. You could start Witch or Templar instead. I wouldn't recommend Templar. I'd, I'd recommend Shadow or Witch. The reason why I chose Shadow over Witch is because you get casting speed as 4%, Witches are only 3%. I prefer the casting speed over the spell damage uh, since this spell damage is 10% and this spell damage is, uh, sorry, this cast speed is 4%, so it's 4 for 10s. Started off Shadow, went through Mental, or uh, sorry, Trickery, 
came down, grabbed coordination, went through the freeze, took cold hard calculation, assassination, and then came all the way across through here. This is the only part I don't like. Uh, I do have another another build designed that basically cuts out the entire shadow and goes down to Scion instead. So then moving across through, I grabbed Heart and Soul, came across, and this is where the build kind of gets a little unique. I shouldn't actually have this gem in right now, but I'll talk about this here in a little bit. Um, came down, grabbed Annihilation, took Frostwalker, came through, went across, came up, came down through here, and grabbed Dual Totems, and then I filled in the damage and crit. So, um, obviously, like I said, you need to take Reign of Splinters in the build. Reign of Splinters is, is pretty much what makes your totem spec work, because you don't need to spend a link on LMP, so you get a free LMP without the damage loss. Now, here's why I like the, the potential of this build. So, obviously, I haven't started using power charges yet, so I'll get seven power charges. I've got four, five, six, and seven right here. Using Intuitive Leap, I can do something really cool here. Now, remember I was telling you guys, I've got the mana open at the moment. I'm pretty sure if I grab Sovereignty, I can run Discipline. Worst case scenario, um, I pick up Deep Thoughts to help me run Clarity. I get mana regen gear, now I can run Arctic Armor. Uh, but here's the cool part, is that I can run Discipline and actually make use of it. So if I spec downward here and grab Sanctity for one point, which is pretty solid. It gives 10 Strength, 10 Intel. I'll hit Strength for Requirements. Intel goes into mana. 1% uh, life regen is not bad at all. The 10% maximum ES helps discipline. Along with using uh, my intuitive leap, I come across to grab dark arts, which I need dex anyway. So that dex allows me to drop a dex node here. I get 8% cast speed while dual wielding, which I'm currently doing. And then I can skip the duration node here. So the two points that I essentially spent have been bypassed already. The int node, or sorry, the duration node gets swapped for the intel. The dex node gets swapped for the, uh, the node right here. So this is pretty cool. Next, I'll grab Instability with Spell Damage for Power Charge. I can come down now and grab Arcane Focus, which gives 20% maximum ES and helps out with the recharge rate. So there's some really cool stuff I could do there, and then I can swap into Energy Shield gear. Not currently using ES gear, but if I swapped onto like full ES gear, I could see myself easily hitting about 1.5k ES while still managing a good 4.5k life, which totals me to about 6k. And then if I wanted to do low life, um, I'm going to come through, grab Written in Blood, I'm going to be right here when I grab uh, Doomcast, so Pain and Tumments right there. I basically just swap out nodes that have life and come across, maybe modify my tree a little bit and go Dual Curse. And I've got like Unnatural Calm here. I would drop Rain of Splinters out of here and just move down 1, 2, 3, put Rain of Splinters in the Jewel Socket. I've got this entire ES wheel here. Since I'm already at Shadow, I've got Nullification right here as well. So, and then I'm at Witch. So I could, uh, I don't really know how I'd go to, actually no, I'd probably just grab Arcane Focus here. Or you could start Witch, and then you could grab all of it like this and come in, and then skip this. So some really cool options uh, that are happening with, with my character right now. And I'm really, really happy for it, you know? I know a lot of people had their, their disbeliefs when shotgunning was kind of removed, that Freeze Pulse and a lot of other skills that relied on shotgunning would get hit really, really hard with the nerf bat. But I think that uh, it's actually doing pretty well. You know, you guys let me know what your thoughts are about it. But uh, I am really, really, really enjoying the character, so... Hope you guys enjoy it too. Hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. And if you enjoyed the video, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. But with that being said, I'm out. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. And remember, you can catch me streaming at twitch.tv slash poxdaily. Have a good one, guys.